Hello and welcome to a quick technical show and tell video from RC Empire. Now, I've had this for a while and I think it's time to do a detailed video on it. What I have today is something really cool and something that I think you guys will enjoy, especially if you haven't seen one of these before. This is really going back to the basics of remote control technology. So what we have in this package is one of the original Tamiya mechanical speed controllers. I'm sure a lot of you have seen the 5 or 3 step Tamiya speed controllers with 1 or 2 speeds forward, neutral and 1 or 2 speeds reverse, but this one is a little different. To give you an idea of how old this is, I've done a bit of research and found that this style speed controller was used on a number of cars during the late 70s and early 80s. So for example, this was used on the 1978 Tamiya Cheetah, the 1980 Holiday Buggy, the 1981 Sand Rover and the original Renault 5 Turbo from 1982. But this changed in 1983 with the original Tamiya Frog which was released with the more commonly known 5 or 3 step mechanical speed controller. And I'm not quite sure why they stopped using this type because surely this has more control and variable speed. Now to put the age of this speed control into perspective, the first electric car released by Tamiya was in 1976 with the Porsche 934. Now the Porsche did use a different style speed controller and I think this version we have today is the second iteration from Tamiya. In terms of the technical side of things, this is actually a Rio Stat variable resistor and what this does is control the current going to the motor from the battery by means of increasing or decreasing the resistance through the circuit. The way this would normally work is by having a servo attached to the arm of the speed controller and the rotational movement in the servo would be transferred to the arm of the speed controller. Now, as the metal arm of the speed controller or the wiper slides along the coiled wire, the length of wire within the circuit increases and therefore the resistance within the circuit increases so less current gets to the motor and the car will move slower and vice versa. The big drum or the core where the coils are wrapped around is simply there as an insulator of heat and to hold the coils because resistance in a wire will generate some heat just like a heating element in your bathroom. On the back you have three wires, the red and black are from the battery and the green and yellow are to the motor. Now, one of the things I didn't realise was that the battery connector on this speed controller was male, meaning the plug on the battery pack for these cars was female. This actually changed in 1983 with the release of the Tamiya Frog, with its speed controller having female connectors and this convention has been the same ever since for Tamiya style connectors even on the newer models and electronic speed controllers. Another thing I didn't realise was that it seems like the pins on older motors were smaller. This motor is from around 2003 and it doesn't fit at all. So I won't be able to show you this one working just yet, but I will fix something up and put a short video of it very soon. On the bottom you also have two threaded holes and two screws to mount the speed controller onto the chassis. And something I haven't seen before, you also get a 5 amp fuse which is pretty cool. And this is not fixed in there, so when it blows you can change it. And that's positioned on the black wire from the battery. And that's it from us, I hope you had fun watching and learned something new. Please rate and subscribe and let me know in the comments if you have any questions. Thank you for watching and I will see you soon.